Amazing Love, True Stories of the Power of Forgiveness, is a collection of autobiographical accounts and reflections by Corey Ten Boom, which delves into the various dimensions of forgiveness that she encountered before, during, and after World War II. Corey, a Dutch Christian who, along with her family, helped many Jews escape the Nazi Holocaust by hiding them in her home, was eventually caught and imprisoned in concentration camps, including the infamous Ravensbrück. The book outlines her spiritual journey and the remarkable encounters that shaped her understanding of forgiveness. Corey begins the narrative with the pre-war years when she experienced the value of forgiveness in everyday life. Her family's deeply rooted Christian faith prepared her for the trials she would face. She talks about the Ten Boom Watch Shop in Harlem, where her family's faith was put to practice daily. When the war breaks out, her harmless life is turned upside down. Despite the risks, the Ten Boom family's faith leads them to become active in the Dutch resistance, saving many lives. Tragedy strikes when a collaborator betrays the family and the Gestapo raids their home. Corey, her sister Betsy, and their father Casper are arrested. Casper dies shortly after. Corey and Betsy are sent to Ravensbrück concentration camp, where they endure brutal conditions. Despite the hardship, the sisters maintain their faith, and Betsy, in particular, shows an unwavering spirit of forgiveness even towards their captors, planting the seed of this powerful message in Corey's heart. In the camp, Corey is astounded by Betsy's ability to forgive and love their enemies. Betsy dies before the war's end, but her message of forgiveness lives on in Corey, who is released due to a clerical error just before all the women her age are sent to the gas chambers a miracle that strengthens her faith further. After the war, Corey is faced with the daunting task of practicing what she and her sister preached, the enormous challenge of forgiving those who have caused unimaginable harm. She begins a worldwide ministry, speaking about her experiences and the power of God's love. In her travels, she meets one of the former Ravensbrück guards, and here she is put to the ultimate test. Although initially reluctant, Corey finds the strength to forgive him when she realizes that forgiveness does not rely on her own capacity to do so, but on God's capacity to forgive through her. She sets up a rehabilitation center in the Netherlands for concentration camp survivors, utilizing the very place where the Ten Boom family was held after their arrest. The center becomes a tangible expression of Corey's commitment to the healing and reconciliation that forgiveness can bring. It welcomes anyone in need of healing, including former collaborators and Nazis, which further exemplifies her remarkable ability to forgive. Throughout the book, Corey shares numerous encounters and stories which reveal the profound impact of forgiveness on both the forgiven and the forgiver. She regularly encounters individuals who are trapped by their own bitterness and resentment, and she counsels them by showing how forgiveness can set them free. Corey tells of speaking engagements where her message prompts others to pursue forgiveness in their own lives, sometimes leading to emotional scenes of reconciliation. Corey emphasizes that forgiveness is not a one-time act, but a continuous process. She elaborates on the many layers of forgiveness which she herself has had to peel away as she confronts the deep-seated bitterness against the Nazis and even against fellow Dutch citizens who were collaborators. She stresses the importance of forgiving 70 times 7 times, as taught by Jesus, illustrating that forgiveness is an essential part of the Christian journey. Another significant theme Corey discusses is the idea that forgiveness is not conditioned upon the remorse of the wrongdoer. She shares stories where she forgives even when the other party does not seek forgiveness or acknowledge their wrongdoing. This act of unconditional forgiveness is part of what sets her narrative apart. She believes that it is through this divine love and forgiveness that true freedom and peace can be found. In Amazing Love, Corey Ten Boom shares her own vulnerabilities and struggles with the concept of forgiveness. She admits to moments of human weakness, where the vivid memories of the past make forgiveness seem nearly impossible. Yet, it is in these very moments that she turns to her faith to draw strength finding that forgiveness is an act of will empowered by God's grace. The book serves as a testament to the redemptive power of forgiveness. Corey's experiences during and after the Holocaust provide a stark backdrop 
against which the beauty and struggle inherent in forgiving others are displayed. Her story thus transcends time, speaking to readers about the universal challenge and necessity of forgiving others, a principle that holds the potential to bring healing and reconciliation in any context. Corey's encounters with various individuals, each carrying their own burdens from the past, highlight how forgiveness is often intertwined with healing. This healing is not superficial. It cuts to the deepest wounds of the human experience, addressing the emotional and psychological scars that hatred and injustice leave behind. One of the profound insights Corey offers is the idea that forgiveness can be the key to breaking the cycle of hatred and violence. She witnesses firsthand how hatred can consume individuals and societies, but she also witnesses the transformative power of forgiveness that can restore broken relationships and even communities. Her message is one of hope, that even in the darkest situations, there is an opportunity for light to break through when individuals choose the path of forgiveness. Amazing Love is not merely an account of historical events. It is also an instructional guide on the practical application of forgiveness. Corey Ten Boom provides readers with the tools and encouragement to face their own battles with unforgiveness. She shares how forgiveness can open the doors to a deeper relationship with God and with those around us. Through her personal journey, she offers a roadmap for navigating the complex terrain of the human heart. The book closes with a reminder of the cost and courage required to forgive. Corey does not shy away from the fact that there are some who might never understand or accept the message of forgiveness she preaches. However, she stands firm in her conviction that it is through forgiving others that we are set free, not just spiritually, but also emotionally and mentally. In Amazing Love, Corey Ten Boom provides a profound and moving narrative that illustrates the transformative impact of forgiveness on both individuals and the world. Her experiences during one of history's darkest periods serve as a beacon of hope, demonstrating that even in the face of overwhelming evil and suffering, forgiveness can lead to redemption and peace. Through her story, readers are invited to embark on their own journey of forgiveness, discovering its power to heal and to change the world one heart at a time. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.